If you boys are looking to buy some FIFA 17 coins, head on over to Golda.com and use DRG for a cheeky discount. Hello you lot and welcome to a world justified rant video. Oh, this one's got my blood boiling. So you may have seen over some sort of news outlet or just Twitter, which is where I picked it up, that we have some new big hardy hooligans in the football world. These are West Ham fans. I don't think that really matters what fans they are. They're just absolute bloody pricks. Not hooligans. I like to call them fooligans. It's probably the shittest word I've ever come up with. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, an image is going to pop up on the screen any minute. And we're going to take a look at these frightening boys. The bloody children, for Christ's sake, threatening Everton fans for the game on the weekend, saying we're waiting, we're going to get you. But it, oh, there's not one person in the world that would look at this image and be frightened, or take these little arse wipes seriously. So if we take a look at the image, the first guy on the far left, he looks like he's got himself a nice little tinfoil baseball bat in his hand. Fucking hell mate, you're frightening the shite out of me with your bloody rain anorak on. And then, it does get slightly frightening, and then he asks the question, where the hell does somebody get a medieval axe from? Look at him standing there as if it's natural to have one of them fuckers in his hand. Christ almighty, now saying that, he probably looks more frightened himself at the fact he's holding one of those bloody things. Now next up we have the guy in the middle ready for a game of golf, telling us all that he's going to put the ball in two shots. Absolutely riveting stuff mate. Bloody Nora, and why, why are they supposed to be hiding the faces in with these bloody hunt tied up ties or is he just fucking gold? Next up we've got the guy with some fake Yeezys on and he's got a bloody machete. Where the bloody hell do children get these weapons? A bloody machete! He looks like he's ready to go cut his way through an overgrown bloody jungle! And finally, the best yet. The guy that couldn't find anything to frighten anybody with, so he just stands there like this. Why? At least clench your bloody fists or something if you want to look like you're going to be scary or going to beat somebody up, you bloody gobshite. Not carrying a bag with your mate's bloody sandwiches in it. Now, as infuriating as this image was, yes, it was funny, no, it wasn't scary, but you do ask the question, where the bloody hell are these children's parents? How? How have they got machetes and medieval axes and tinfoil baseball bats? Well, I can make one of those myself. But the poor bastard on the end has nothing. But all joking aside, it's a worrying time when kids like this a threatening fans with bloody lethal weapons. I mean, do these boys really think they're going to go rough somebody up with a machete? You're going to chop the bloody limbs off, you thick shite. But, all was not lost. Faith in humanity was restored with some absolutely terrific photoshops. <laughs> I mean, somebody's photoshopped himself, holding himself up by the feet. It shouldn't be funny, but it's bloody comical, and they get better. So I'm just going to shut up for a few seconds. Got to just put a little montage up of some of the best photoshops of these assholes. Now, technically, it's pretty much taken the piss out of the Muppet at the end, holding absolutely nothing. But they've rectified that problem, and they have him holding many, many things. Enjoy the short montage, boys. I do hope you've enjoyed it. The whole point of this is just Christ. Oh, why are children been reared this way for one? Why have they got bloody machetes and bloody battle axes? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Just enjoy the beautiful game that is football and stop acting like bloody knobheads. If any of these were confronted, they would literally piss their little tracksuits. It's ridiculous. But as I say, rant complete. It was light-hearted as well as slightly serious. And of course, the bottom line is, these absolute arseholes got destroyed over the beautiful thing that is the internet. 
Thank you for watching, boys. Don't forget to drop a like if you want to see more of these rant videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And of course, I'll talk to you all next time. Take care of yourselves. Cheerio.